Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another amazing episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And as promised, there's another glitch to come right few hours after we have discovered the out of the world glitch. You know, I hope you guys are enjoying that. I hope you guys are exploring the world. If you are interested in how to get outside the world, I will show you here again in this video for this glitch real quickly. And it's also in the previous video. This glitch though I'm currently about to show you guys is how to exploit the dark zone and how to pretty much farm out to maximum level without having any main issues but I do have to tell you ahead of time that this glitch will require you to have three people in a way two to three people most definitely at least one more person to help you out with this otherwise this glitch won't work before we continue, I would love to set a small tiny record straight. I forgot in my previous video to mention one more explorer who actually was one of the key members, uh, Cade. I'm really sorry, brother, that I left your name out. You know, and in this video, it's pretty much the same explorer explorers as in the last one. Me, Zach, Cade and Skid, as you guys could see them in the video, you know, are the main discoverers of this glitch and of the previous glitch. Sorry, I just, people, you know, get upset if the record isn't straight, so I figured I would get ahead of the train and make sure the record is straight. Now, as usual, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful or entertaining, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel grow. So, without any further ado, let's get into the glitch. Now, for this glitch to work, what you need to do is set your location right here, 19th West and the first street northwest the closest portion to this is the settlement it'll make your life the easiest one to run from you spawn at the settlement you head north and you run over here then you would make a right and you would come to this dead end that says a restricted area you would notice this black car on the left hand side you click climb the car and you'll be able to click it right there for just a second if you look under a certain angle you would notice the control appear but you don't actually need that to appear for you all you need to do is spam climb and your character will simply climb once you climb over you would already notice that environment here is come starting to get the distorted this is already outside the map you just simply proceed through here as you guys could see right here you're already outside the borders of the map that's there's a forest there a desert in that location a, a bunch of npcs right there as you guys could see there's already fully bull you're outside the map right here if i would show you on the map this is the street you can now proceed fully blown upwards run around these blocks all there is no real wall sometimes you just can't get off uh, the sidewalk what you need to do is roll off the sidewalk and then you'll be able to get off and proceed forward as you guys could see this there's a lot of buildings here environments tons of shit to explore so let's get on with the dark zone glitch now for this dark glitch to fully work, what you need to do is have your first DZ unlocked. The DZ that's located right here in the north eastern corner of the map. Once you go over here, you would need to proceed about, about one block up all the way down the road. Around under here right over here and through pre pretty much it's a long run. This is going to be a 10 15 minute run if you're just simply running in a straight line if you want to explore all of this now I'm, I'm seriously saying you could actually literally and explore into here it will take you a lot longer time you know but if you're just simply going straight for the dark zone to exploit you need to head right here and the area that you're looking for is located right next to uh, DZ zone east uh, Delta CP each of these doors has Echo CP, Charlie CP. This one, what you need to do is head to Delta CP. And the area that you need to head is located right over here, as you will, guys will see in the footage. In that area, you will be able to get into this building that is technically hollow on the outside and walk into the dark zone. One person will, I mean, everyone who basically walks in here will be considered that there are in DC, uh, the dark zone east. 
Now, once you get to that location, this is where your friend's importance comes in. Your friend or victim in this case is going to be the one that's going to be sacrificing their life for your benefit. What he needs to be is the lowest level dark zone rank, which at which point you will not be able to lose dark zone experience. So you could pretty much kill him as many times as you want because apparently it turns out you could fast travel all the way back up there behind the wall back onto you. So this is why you kind of need three people, two people in one group, one person who is being power level, the two people outside, one you killing one and then he uh, basically when he responds he fast travels back in rep repetitively or just gets revived by his friend but most likely that doesn't happen because you kind of need to kill them off fully just so you could get um, well you know uh, rogue status so if you kill them they need to fast travel back and this is the quickest way to do it and the reason why they need to be low level or the lowest level is so they don't lose the experience now there's two things that you need to be concerned about don't kill your friends enough times for you to go to Manhunter because then once you're in a Manhunter mode, you have to actually now go to the wall and click the button, those little devices that are on the wall that basically remove Manhunter status off you. The fortunate thing is the place that I showed you on the map, there's one right outside that wall. So if you do end up accidentally screwing up, you don't actually have to run back or at all. The Manhunter button is located right on the wall that you could click through the world. So you could pretty much do that way or if you are having issues clicking that button, let's say they patch something in the future or they change something and you can't reach the button through the wall, unfortunately you will have to fast travel, uh, go into the dark zone. But thankfully because you can fast travel back into your friend, you could fast travel in, click the button and fast travel back outside of the dark zone and continue exploiting the mechanics. Also, unfortunately, lately, uh, the Division Gods have been revolting against me, preventing notification systems of going out about some of my Division 2 glitches. So I hope you guys at least had a chance to check out my previous video where uh, we've made a discovery on, you know, how to get outside of the map. Well guys, as we continue to explore outside, we sure to find more different stuff and broken shit in the world of Division. So stay tuned for more videos to come. And as usual, if you enjoyed this episode, would really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Really helps out the channel grow. Thank you all again for watching and be safe in the dark zone.